Sage has got an amazing framework that's built to global best practice. And having someone hold that up to you and say, are you really doing everything that you can to promote diversity? How do you really compare on the global stage? There's nothing like being confronting to a scientist because it makes us step up and want to do better. I think any sort of activity like this on a national scale that raises the profile of the issues that we're facing in STEM around the lack of participation of women, particularly in senior roles, is really critically important. We know the jobs are there. We know in the next 20, 30 years there will be a need for talented people with STEM skills, particularly women. We want a fully inclusive, diverse workplace. We want to draw on all these different perspectives and opinions. How do we get to there? How do we design and imagine that future? and then build towards that. The key thing is with only 16% of women in the STEM workforce is clearly a situation where you're losing a large amount of most talented people in the field. That's a good reason to want to reverse it. To keep the talent in STEM, you need to keep women in STEM. We need to ensure that right through the schooling system, both males and females are attracted and well equipped to engage in the STEM field, so there's issues that need to be addressed right across our schooling system. I think we do have to be very aware of the unconscious biases that affect women's ability to progress. We also need to change men's behaviour in relation to their own careers. We've identified that men are not taking parental leave at the rate that we would like to see them. If men can't take on parenting responsibilities, we'll never uh, make it possible for women to do that. There's a, a real issue around opportunities for people coming back from career breaks. How do we actually resolve that and build productive career paths for people and be permissive to 21st century life circumstances for people? We've just built a childcare centre. Um, so that allows all of our staff, men and women, to be able to better balance their private and professional lives. I think we have to get better at helping women through the career defining and childbearing rearing years, which are often in their 20s, 30s, early 40s. We have other structural things which I think the SAGE process has helped us to focus on. For example, equal income, supporting women through the gender equity fellowships is also going to be very important as well. We've also been more attentive to career development for women and better mentorship programs to make sure that we can give young women in our organisation more support in finding their way through a, a complicated career maze. When an organisation has an underrepresentation of 50% of its potential talent pool, it's not achieving all that it can. It's measurable. You, you take a stock take of where you are and then you try to say where you want to be, which is to get to 50-50, and there are ways to get to there. Then you document that in a public way, and it's a commitment to do that in the sense of trying to achieve that goal. Diverse teams are better equipped to collaborate, to approach problems from multiple angles, and to find innovative ways forward. Prioritising gender equality is about recognising that equal opportunity actually enables everyone to thrive. I have had experience in the UK of uh, being in a university which had bron a bronze award in Athena Swan and it really had an amazing effect on the institution, on the people within it and just the culture. The SAGE program is important and I'd recommend it to a range of institutions because it has both the reflection element and also the capacity to improve and broaden the, the conversation about what we need to do to address gender equity in the science. The message for me from Athena Swan and SAGE uh, is make it really positive for people who are in the organisation, positive for people who are joining the organisation and make it sustainable through cultural change that's based on good processes and defensible practices.